Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Island Design. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you some advanced ways you can retain more detail in your image when you vectorize an image in Adobe Illustrator. Now on this channel, there is a video dedicated to vectorizing an image in Illustrator. So if at the end of this video, you still have some questions, then you may find the answers you're looking for in this video. Now in Illustrator, this is a sketch I just found online. So if you want to follow along, there will be a link to this download in the description. The first thing you want to do is to select your artwork. And then at the top here, you'll see where it says image trace. Right next to it is a drop down button. And here you can select some different options that include color or less color, black and white, or just some strokes such as the line art or technical drawing. But instead, I'm just going to hit the image trace button, select okay, and then just let Illustrator do his thing. Once your image trace is complete, then you can go up to the top where it says image trace panel and select that. You'll see some options pop up and now a quick tip here next to the view and tracing result. You'll see a little eye you can toggle on and off and now you can see just how much detail is missing in your new image trace. Now moving on to threshold, this slider is based off of luminancy. So the more I bring this number down, I'm telling Illustrator to trace less or nothing within this document. But the more I bring this slider up, I'm telling Illustrator to trace more or everything within this document. So what you want to do is to find a good balance between what is and what is not being traced within your artwork. If we drop below the advanced settings here, we'll see some more sliders to further refine the detail within our vector image. The path slider will increase or decrease the amount of paths, which can give you more or less detail depending on what you want. And the corner slider will increase or decrease the amount of corners, which can give you some smoother or sharper edges again, depending on what style you're going for. And then the noise option will really help you bring back some finer detail. Uh, the smaller your pixel amount, the smaller details and smaller lines will be picked up from the image trace and uh, vice versa. If you want to start by picking up some bigger details, then you can increase the pixel size. So as you can see, by using the image trace panel, you can retain and bring back a lot more detail into your vectorized image in Adobe Illustrator. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps tremendously to support the channel and to continue making helpful content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.